All right, let's speak to another outstanding matriculant uh, from St. Mary's School. It's the uh, school's uh, top matric achiever who joins us this morning, and I'm sure you're going to uh, enjoy what's going to be a well-deserved rest for a little while from now. From St. Mary's School, uh, Alia Hassam joining us. Alia, good morning to you. First of all, uh, congratulations. I spoke to another top achiever earlier. I don't want to. I don't want to burst your bubble. I don't want to steal your limelight. So you tell us, how did you do in matric 2021? Um, well, I did um, pleasing. I think our whole class of 2021 really did very well, as well as my peers from St. Mary's, who really found strength in adversity during this very difficult year. Um, yeah, so I think we can all be very pleased with ourselves. It has been a very tough year. I'm going to ask you about that uh, in a moment, because I remember when I was doing matric, uh, you know, just one or two years ago. No, I'm joking. Many, many, many years ago now. Uh, it was difficult already. I can't imagine during it, uh, doing it during COVID. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask you about that in a moment. First of all, just uh, uh, tip your own hat for a moment. Tell me about your distinctions. Tell me about your subjects. Tell me about your marks. Okay, so I got seven distinctions and um, I took accounting, physics and biology and then the other four subjects. And pass mark, are you willing to share it with us or am I prying a bit too much here? Um, do you mean my average? Yeah, whatever mark you want to put out there. I mean, you're the top, you're the top matriculant, so which is the one you're most proud of? Um, well, I'm most proud of my English, mm. so... Yeah. <laughs> so can we now ask, uh, I've been curious to speak to the pupils of 2021, uh, because I think 2020, I think we were all finding our feet, you would have been grade 11, uh, and you knew the education uh, mess that you were going to walk into with COVID-19 in 2021. Uh, so how was it for you? Was it really that difficult or did home, not homeschooling, but online learning actually work for you? Um, I think it was definitely a bit of an adjustment um, having gone to doing in-face learning for virtually our whole high school and junior school life. It was a very big adjustment, but I really have to take my hat off to my school, St. Mary's, who went out of their way to give us our, the best online learning platforms, but over and above that to get us back onto campus as soon as possible in a safe, COVID-friendly manner, which really made all the difference for me and my peers. So now we start looking ahead to uh, your next steps, obviously you've done incredibly well. The world academically is pretty much your oyster, uh, I'm sure. So what is the plan for, for this year? Are we going to take a year off? Are we going straight into something high end? What are we going to do? Um, I'm very interested in pursuing um, a degree in the health science um, realm. So that's what I'm going to be doing in 2022. Why health? Of all the things you could do, why health? I think um, mainly during COVID-19, I really saw the resilience and courage of our healthcare workers. And that made me really want to go into a degree where I can serve people. I've always enjoyed doing community service, getting into touch with people who have less than me, people who are in need. So that's why I think um, the health science fraternity would be very fitting for me as that's what I love doing. Well, I wish you all the very best with it. Uh, do you have a message for uh, the matriculants that are coming in this year? It's their last year coming up. They're looking at you uh, as some sort of inspiration, I'm sure. Do you have a, a message of, uh, of support for them or what would you like to tell them? Um, I would just like to tell them no matter your marks, we will be very proud of you and just dig deep emotionally and mentally throughout the year. Find your strength, even if it is in adversity. Find your resilience, and I'm sure you'll be sitting in the same position that we are, being proud of yourselves. And yeah. Well, uh, Olia, it's, it's been wonderful speaking to you, and it, it seems like you were never going to rah-rah your own marks. I love that humility, so allow me to do it for you. Seven distinctions. You deserve all the credit and all the glory you get uh, from this. Yes, the school played an important role, but you the one who had to sit and study and write the exams. All the best, and I can't help but think maybe in a few years' time uh, I'm going to be referring to you as doctor or professor, Hassim, uh, and hopefully we have a chat here uh, yeah. on ENC.